Hey guys, I'm back with another video and I thought I would do a life update slash intro to my new craft room video. So I have been MIA from Facebook and YouTube and I miss you all so much. I have just been personally dealing with a lot of obstacles and problems and things I need to resolve and stuff like that. So every day I've literally been just prioritizing, fixing all these things and powering through and getting stuff done and just crossing things off the list. Um, there's been like some rough times. Um, if you follow my Facebook, you saw that my beloved peanut passed away on March 22nd and I'm so sad about that. And there's some moments where like it hits me and it's like very hard and I start to tear up and... Um, it's been really hard dealing with that because she passed away like a week prior to us moving and I had always pictured my both of my dogs running around our new house and um, just having fun and just you know enjoying because they're old like their last years in the new house and stuff and it, it came really suddenly and fast and we've me and my husband both have had you know, these dogs since they were puppies and we've literally had them throughout <clears throat> our whole relationship. So we almost don't know what it feels like to not have them. And she was just like the life of the household. And it's so different now without her. And um, just yesterday we got her ashes. And um, I mean, with time, it gets easier. You like stop crying every day and stuff like that. But just seeing her ashes and she's here with us again. And how beautiful they, the presentation of the ashes, they have it in like a cedar wood box and her little paw print in like this mold. And um, they have a little heart that says peanut that's, you know, wood burned into like a wooden heart. And then it had like the wildflower seeds. It was so beautiful how they had that set up. And um, it's just nice to have her here, you know, with us and um, that was really emotional. I, the whole peanut thing has been so emotional and, um, like I think about all the stuff that happened prior to that and like a lot of stuff has happened, but all of those problems seemed like, even though they were huge, like, like when she died, it like, that was the worst thing ever. Like I would take those other problems in a heartbeat back. Like, um, just dealing with her death is just... It is like the worst thing I've ever had to deal with ever. And um, <clears throat> yeah, that was really hard. And, you know, I couldn't even pack our stuff. And, you know, the movers were there the day we were supposed to move. And I mean, literally, Bruce went to Home Depot, got like 12 boxes, like six o'clock in the morning. And I was just still throwing stuff in boxes because I just I couldn't deal with it like that week. Um, and then we moved into the house and then, um, on a Monday and Tuesday, Buster got sick and I, I thought, but he, he looked like he was having a stroke and his eyes were rolling back and he just looked like he was having a continuous stroke and we brought him to the vet and I was crying at the vet and I thought, it, you know, like, please like, no, not a week after peanut and, um, through a miracle, um, he's, he's better. I mean, he's an old dog, so he'll always have like, you know, little problems here and there, but, um, he, he, he got better. So I'm so happy. Um, but yeah, I mean, just dealing with a lot of stuff. I mean, the day the movers came, Bruce actually came to the house, um, a little bit early. He accidentally stabbed himself. So he had to go to the emergency room that day. And, um, I had to get stitches. So I had to deal with the movers by myself and it, it was just crazy. And so I don't want to do a big, long rambling video because I did one before this and it was like 12 minutes. But um, to wrap it up, I've moved three times the last nine months. I've had like all these things happen. Um, I've just survived through it all. And, um, you know, just trying to move on from, you know, peanut, peanut. And, you know, I still, I just think about her all the time and it's just, it just, it sucks. Like, I just, I wish she was here. Um, but I just want to move on and get back into a routine. And so I moved, I have a commute. So I've been dealing with like my new routine and the commute super long. And if, 
Um, it's just like it took forever to get home because the particular freeway that I take is just a hot mess every day. Um, but I take the train now and I'm just trying to get used to my new routine. And over this weekend, I literally unpacked my entire craft room and I got it done over the weekend. Now, not um, there's some stuff that I want to do because um, there's some stuff that people made me that I want to display and then I also want to hang up some shelves, but for the most part, the craft room is 95% done. And so I'll do a craft room video um, uh, maybe this weekend so you'd see what my new craft room looks like. But I'll have to, I might also show a couple clips after this video um, of the beginning of the process. So I'll have a couple of videos on how um, the craft room looked before and after and all that stuff. So... Um, I think you guys have all seen my craft room in my old house. Um, and then when we moved twice, I didn't really have a craft room. I had everything in boxes and either in storage or um, in boxes in a room. So um, while they were in boxes in our last apartment, I actually purged a lot of stuff and I organized a lot of stuff so that when I found my permanent craft room, which I didn't even know when that would be, um, that it would just be like a drag and drop into boxes and it would be a quick process, which I'm glad I did. Um, but I feel like this video is getting still long, but, um, but yeah. Um, and I just did like, I just didn't know. I didn't know when we were going to find our permanent house. I really had no idea, but the day that we found it was actually Valentine's day weekend. And it just, I didn't even know it was going to happen that weekend. It was like it, if the day before Valentine's Day or the day, you know, before Valentine's weekend, I had no clue like my life would change like the next day. So that was a little crazy, totally all good. But um, yeah, just a lot of stuff. Um, I'm glad to be back. Um, if this video is too long, I'll just keep it at this. But um, I might also add some clips to show you. And then maybe do a few videos on how I unpacked and, you know, all the footage that I took before the final craft room got completed. Because I still have to tape that. Um, but I'm waiting for daylight, so I'll do that on Saturday. So that's it. Just know I miss you guys. And here's a preview of what my craft room colors are. And that's it. I'm sorry this is a long video. I just wanted to update everyone and just, I miss you all. And there's a couple of events I missed and I'm so sad about that. But um, I, I'm just slowly getting back and getting in, into a routine. And I just want like a normalcy for a little bit because like this past year has been a little, it's been a little much. <laughs> so um, I just, I just want to get back to normal. Um, but that's it. I will see you guys next time. And um, I think I'm going to stop the video here. And then the next video you guys will see will be a couple videos of the craft room transformation. And I hope you watch my new craft room because I'm really proud of it. Um, and I worked really hard on it. And I'm just like so happy at the way it looks. Um, okay, that's it. I miss you guys. I love you guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye.